Thank you. Um, first, I want to thank distinguished rapporteur, Ms. Jebrea, for her comprehensive report, touching ground on many aspects of second dimension of security. Before going into details, I would like to make a few general observations. In our activities within the framework of this committee, we need to bear in mind that the need to ensure that topics we discuss should have clear link to security. Secondly, the topic, the logic and essence of the economic and environmental cooperation is building trust and confidence in order to create conductive ground for tackling political di uh, disputes. OSCE PA has special role to play in this regard. We are pleased to note that the report of distinguished rapporteur follows this logic. Um, regarding corruption, we commend the focus on good governance and fight against the corruption. Governments which are really keen to fight corruption have to promote investigative journal journalism and protect the journalists covering sensitive issues such as corruption of high-level state officials. Corruption may have serious impact on international security as well, in particular, in particular when it goes to bribery of foreign public officials. <clears throat> as you are aware, some states export their corrupt practices to international fora in order to prom promote their conflict perceptions. I would like to refer to the report of the independent investigation body created to address allegations of corruption within the Parliamentary Assembly of Council of Europe. The findings of the body were heavily heavy blow on the reputation of PASA and its members. Number of corrupt techniques and practices were revealed or confirmed through this body, such as the so-called caviar diplomacy and landromat case, which involved money laundering of billions of dollars, involving number of OSCE participating states, banks, and parliamentarians. <coughs> Related to human capital development, we support the topic in the context of education and building skills in digital era. Armenia throughout its millennial history has never relied on natural resources for its development. Driving force for the economic progress in Armenia have been and will remain free, skillful and creative individuals which form our nation. Development of human capital can take place only within the framework of strong and inclusive democratic institutions, rule of law and protection of human rights, including social and economic rights. There is clear consensus in the Armenian society on democracy, good governance, and human rights, which creates favorable conditions for the government to advocate reforms aimed at further enhancing the human capital and promoting innovative economy. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I'll give the floor. I'll give the floor now.